All right, I want you to see this uh, uh, video. It's something that Reasons to Believe, you and his crowd of folks have put together. It's a fantastic video. We're offering it. It's called Journey Toward Creation. Watch this. It talks about the anthropic principles that scientists are finding in our universe. Look. As we leave our solar system, we travel more than four light years to Alpha Centauri, the nearest star to our solar system. Only about half of the stars in the entire universe are classified as single or bachelor stars like our sun. Alpha Centauri is not a bachelor star. It is one of the common multiple star systems. The gravitational tug of war in Alpha Centauri makes stable orbits for planets capable of supporting life impossible. So the majority of stars are ruled out as possible life support sites. As we continue on our way, we discover that stars come in different sizes, colors, and ages. The bigger the star, the hotter, faster, and more erratically it burns up its fuel. Stars more massive than the sun burn their fuel too quickly and erratically to support life in their vicinity. Stars less massive than the sun are cooler, so planets orbiting close enough to be warm enough for life would have the rotation greatly slowed by the star's gravitational tug. Slow rotation means long days and nights and life-destructive temperature extremes from day to night. Traveling 250 light years out past Alpha Centauri, we encounter over 100,000 stars. Of these stars, only 100 of them so far have been found to have planets orbiting them. Scientists now estimate that only 2% of the stars in our galaxy possess planets. All right, Hugh, that last statement is, is, is unbelievable. Scientists now estimate that only 2% of the stars in our galaxy possess planets. Sun, our sun, is very important. Tell us more of why it's absolutely crucial to having life on Earth. Well, if the sun were any bigger or any smaller in terms of its mass, if it were any younger or any older, it wouldn't be stable enough to support human beings and human civilization. As we look at smaller stars, we see that they have more activity. Likewise, uh, bigger stars have more activity and younger and older stars. So when the sun was young, it may have been appropriate for bacteria, but not for human life. As it gets older, it will become more unstable.